children. My children are First Nations, and my children are diagnosed with different levels on the autism spectrum disorder. Um, today I came to basically find more about education in general. As a regular parent, I'm not informed. I want to become more informed, and I'm just trying to find an easier way so that I can join the conversation, especially with teachers, principals, and even my school trustee. Uh, for myself, my main comment is I hope that today's discussion would actually touch upon um, the largest group of, um, of, of growing Canadians, which are either First Nation Canadians or children with special needs. I did appreciate the um, I, I did appreciate the panel, and I'm really glad I was able to stop by. Hi, my name is Nadia Guerrero. I'm a teacher for the Toronto Catholic District School Board uh, here in Toronto. And uh, it was really interesting listening to this panel discussion tonight about innovation in education. There was a lot of talk about the structures of education changing, curriculum changing, time that we spend on things, and so on. But, you know, this, I think there's a bigger question we need to ask before we get to the structures of education. Before we can change the structures of education, the meaningful discussion we need to have is about what the function of education is. What is the purpose of education? And I think the last time that question was asked was under the conservative government of Mike Harris in Toronto. And they changed the focus from active, participatory citizenship, you know, teaching children to become active members of society to becoming skilled workers in our society. So we moved to outcomes-based education in our last major curriculum revision. And we need to start asking about maybe how to get people to become creative, active, innovative citizens. And if we can do that, then all those structures in education will change in response, and that will be innovative.